the banks. But let me say this for the sake of posterity. This is a one-time opportunity to take charge of our lives and change our destinies for good. The money that Senator Benson will be doling out at the political event is taxpayers' money. Our money. your money. So if anyone here is having a rethink, let this be the conviction that you need. A rethink? Guy, now every bar will they talk about for him. The only rethink we should be having is how to coordinate this operation so that it go gang gang, make it for no square. Will they feel me? For once, I do not understand why we have to even believe Sandra in the first place. Why do we have to do with her words? How sure are we that she's not even blabbing? That is exactly where I come in. The venue for the political event is highly secured with closed circuit of television cameras from the entrance to the exit and other pathways. But I can be able to closely monitor whatever goes in and out of this place for at least two to three days before the event. With that also, I can be able to tell if they would come with the money into the hall. And how do you intend to do this? I am not called a computer guru for the sake of it, Melvin. I am well grounded when it comes to bugs and spyware. I will personally infiltrate their system with bugs and get live feeds from their CCTV on my own monitor. This is brilliant. One I'm glad the anointing oil on your head has not departed yet. Well, let's get on it, ladies. I am going to be having a meeting with Sandra to convince her husband to open an account with our bank. Guy, while she's trying to convince her husband to open an account, on my own, because only me in her squad. So on my own, I go like go check the venue. Go check every ikoro, all the police station, all the mwongo, all the short corners to make sure say I cover every loophole, make any winch, any orient that not enter come square show for us. Will they feel me? Well, I'll be providing a high utility vehicle to cater for the bag of money. My husband is an ex-soldier. An artillery man with his ammunition still intact in his basement. Great! I'll be bringing them on board. Ladies, we have a complete squad.
My school teacher always said, your high school reunion is where you will either have great time or great story. I never grasped the full meaning of this until we had what we called the last reunion. Ladies, let's go. What is your official rating to emerge the victorious at the upcoming election? Ten over ten, and if I may say hundred percent. You see, I am super confident that my support base and the good delegates of my party will support and elect me as the party flag bearer. But why do you think you're the right person to continue representing your constituency in the Senate House? Because one good turn deserves another. Yes, I've been a senator since 2003. And I can make both to say that there's no one out there that can match my political and intellectual experience. So what are your concrete plans for their country, Nigeria? Should you emerge winner at the forthcoming NASS elections? Plan is plan. Which one is concrete plans? When you talk about plans, I have it in abundance. So how do you intend to tackle the lingering insecurities and economic hardship we're facing now? Who we'll share the money? And I ask you, if you have money in your account, enough money, Will you carry gun? No, you will not. The youths will not carry gun. Look, there is enough money in this country. And there's nothing as economic hardship. The citizens are just broke. And if I'm elected the senator of the Federal Republic, no one will be broke anymore. Yes. Sir, what about the impact of the looming food crisis? Well, we eat too much of rice. Because we eat too much of rice, and if you eat too much of rice, there will be crisis. Because everyone wants to eat rice. You know our logo. It's calm. My party logo is calm. We will make fun available for farmers to grow more corn than rice. And we will share maybe a corn per day for it. All right, enough of the questions. Sir? No, yes. no, 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 no
Congress of Progressive Minds. Of better Nigeria. You see, others will say, let me introduce myself. But I do not need any introduction because there is no single Nigerian who does not know Senator Rufus Bensi. <laughs> I am the bank, the money man. You see, last time I went to Ibaka State, that was before their gubernatorial election. And I told them to their hearing that I do not need your money. Because that's I. Senator Rufus Bensi is richer than your state. And um, today, you people will be electrified with money <laughs> because I have declared that the bank vote be open for you. Sure, sure, sure. I will share the money as long as you vote for me. Now you listen. If you know you are not going to vote for me, there will be no shishi for you. Yes, don't touch my money. I repeat, don't touch my money. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A very big applause to our father and Grand Petron. Chief Rufus Benson, a.k.a. Senator Banks. CPM! Better people! CPM! Better people! Congress of Progressive Minds! For better Nigeria! Ladies and gentlemen, permit me to introduce our national woman leader in the person of Mrs. Sabina Nana. Minds. Nigeria. Thank 
you all. Still on the existing protocol, permit me to introduce one of the prominent stakeholders of our dear party in the person of Chief Ndoka Kahlo. CBM! Progressive minds for better Nigeria. Thank you all. You are welcome, sir. As the women leader, I am here for the right of our women, both young and old. But my discussion with my amiable senator, he has agreed to take care of all the women in Nigeria. Wow. For this, I am stepping down for him to run the office. My senator. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my women leader, thank you, um, thank you, thank you, my women leader. Yeah, um, Honorable Sabina has spoken well. As for the inclusiveness of women in my representation at the upper chamber, that matter is already settled. Yes, it's guaranteed because uh, I am the only contestant that married from the three major tribes of this country, Nigeria. <laughs> the Igbo, Yoruba, and Hausa. And as we speak, I'm on the verge of marrying a Fulani woman. <laughs> so you see, that constituency is already taken care of, and you will not be disappointed. Yes, and um, Honorable Sabina has accorded me due respect. And respect, they say, is reciprocal. So, for the women wing of our party, you will receive $2,000 each. <laughs> right now, right here. And in addition to that, you will be given jewelries worth a hundred thousand naira each. I thank you. I thank you. What are you doing here? Well, I'm actually the videographer covering this event. Have you got a clearance for that? Yes. 
Sun City Management has handled that already. I will have to confirm that because I spoke with the director a few minutes ago and he told me they were still on their way. There is a mix-up somewhere or you probably did not hear right, sir. I need to confirm that. Just before you do that, you should take a look at this. Mel, it's time. Trigger the alarm. CPM. CPM! Now, check out what the problem is okay. immediately. All security guy and us. The situation is under the control of our well trained security personnel, so there is no need to panic, okay? Please. Mm -hmm.
Hello, Nasi, how are you doing? I'm, I'm not fine, sister. You, you got me so worried about you. My sister, no verse. Now, long story. I'm not say I go stay this long. Sister, where are you? Why? Why are the police accusing you of murder and robbery? You, you told me you were going for a business meeting with your friends from the reunion. See, why I did now, no go talk plenty. Don't worry, when I see you, I will explain everything to you. Okay, brief me. The police were here earlier looking for you. Eh? Why did you take me in my house? Sister, what's going on? Where are you? See, like I just told you now, I'm not going to explain everything to you right now. But you go do me one favor. Stay inside the house, no come more for house. I take God beg you. Whenever we don't punk me, eh? I go tell you why day you come meet me. Yeah? I don't understand. Are we now absconding? You two they speak plenty, grandma. At least let me know what you're up to. I want to know where you are. I don't know. I lost. What do you mean you don't know where you are? See, I'm not gonna tell you why I did now. I go talk to you later. Bye bye. Hello? Oh gosh, we lost that. She might come back. I don't think so. Don't worry, we'll get them. What if she fixes her phone and disconnect the one we gave to her? She won't do that. Because I didn't give her enough money to do that. What if she completed it with her money? Uh, I made her a promise to get her a new phone. So she would rather use mine until I'm able to get her a new phone. Don't worry, let's go. That is a smart Let's go. four days now and you're coming back with this huge amount of money what do you take me for this money is for our daughter's transplant you will not spend this amount on her do you want her to die did you think about that when you lied about your genital that you're a, a when you are not. How can you still hold that against me? Why do you know that I did it out of love? And you never thought about that. You are going to give birth to a sickle cell carrier, SS. That was in the past, cousin. We are using this money for our daughter's transplant in India. 
in her nine years on earth. I have spent more than this amount. It is time I get settled and move on with my life. You will do no such thing! Yeah, this is a relationship with him. They don't get respect at all. They just they want their mouth saying here. They don't know so be millionaires. <laughs> Dollar millionaires, you mean? You have not even seen your own money. You are calling yourself a millionaire. I am not comfortable with all these calls. I am not. But Nana is just on the phone. Hey, but they shouldn't be calling. I'm not still comfortable. We all agreed that we should stay off our phone lines till we meet. Babe, Spunky, now Becky, they call. I'm not saying it's not Becky. What I'm saying is, we have to be vigilant. You don't even know who she's with. What will they have to? Babe, how far? I did. What's up? Hey, uh, you don't try reach me, babe. No, anything. I don't think calling nobody sister, nobody let you go. But me and you agree saying we no go call in forty, we meet again now. Eh, but I be won't find out something for my now. Eh? I even go in social media page, you make I try to talk to her from that place. You can't be like say don't block me. Block care. You block me. You don't check your own. Maybe you don't block you too. I know if you try now because I know if you browse for where I did. Then you know beauty at the thing. Go. No. Maybe not if it was anything. I know if it was that kind of thing. They're not born away. You know if you, you know if you, what you know if you jump us now, eh? What did Vicky say? She said she tried to reach me before phone. Maybe before they switched off. Then maybe don't block her for all her social media accounts. But he said we shouldn't make contact with him. You know he's with the money. Oh. Mm. I make her they try not to worry myself because I don't want reason say maybe if it was any bad thing. No. It's too suffer for that money. Oh. It's not gonna do anything. My issue with you is that you should turn off that device. Let me make you speak big grandma device. Don't tell me to make her off before I go off. Turn it you off. You too do. Turn it off. Stop work, ba. Turn it off. Don't tell me to speak grandma. Carry go go put for face. What's wrong with you? I don't like what you're saying. Is it my fault? Hmm. Your your village will like no day. You see they speak English. You know the shape. <laughs> you're a mad woman. <laughs>
Correct grammar. Officer, why are you running? Get that thing! Sir? Get that thing from him! Come and take it. Give it to me. Come and take it. Give it to me. Come and take it. Where do I go from here? How do I pick the broken pieces of my life? I've lost my marriage. And my daughter is on the verge of dying from severe pains. Yet my husband fled with the money for her treatment. I can't even report to the police because they will arrest me too. Where do I go from here? God. I totally regret everything. I am wanted by the police and can no longer live a normal life but hide and seek. We've done all we can to stabilize her till this morning. And her medical reports are ready for traveling. I... I understand. But... Uh, something came up along the line. Can she continue with the treatment so she can get a while you rally around to find a way to fix? Mrs. Sarah, you seem not to understand how critical your daughter's condition is. She needs adequate medical attention for her case, and that can be done overseas. I thought we've discussed this. Yes, we've discussed it, but the only I wanted to use for it. I don't know why are you cry. Mommy is not crying. Are you going to die? No! You will not die. Please, do not harbor such negative thoughts. You will conquer and you will live through this. Okay? Mommy, why has Daddy not come to visit me since? The army, the army called him. He's a medigree. You mean he has got his job back? The autopsy report on Senator Benson is out. Just like I expected. There's no how an asthma patient can go out to a political rally without his medication. Is that what prompted you to demand for an autopsy? Yes. You see, I've been in this job long enough to know that the death of Senator Benson is not normal. What exactly are you implying, sir? It is one out of hundred. That is a crazy statistic. 
You mean the death of Senator Benson is not natural? The autopsy report confirmed that he held a harmful substance which led to his death. At first, one would think he died from the cause of asthma. It's not what it seems. Something bad happened. But I will find out what really happened. There are eyes in the cloud. You better be wise. He searches the soul. This is everything. Hello? Hello, okay. I'm finished too, okay? What happened? My husband beat me up and took the whole money from me. Eh? Why you call your husband and you collect your money now? You don't get sense. Money will you suffer for? He overpowered me. I'm waiting me to us to go. Now my daughter is lying helpless in the hospital. I don't know what to do. Hey, won't we? Sorry, eh? Stay calm. How can I calm down? How can I calm down when my daughter is lying in the hospital with no hope in sight? Okay, how can I calm down? You know what, eh? Ma, call Mervyn and make it arrange. Another money give you. Yeah? <sighs> Who are you speaking with? I say wrong. Sarah. What about her? Is she not supposed to be on her way to India by now? That's what I think, oh. Bro. She just didn't hear me now say I was bam pizza. Sam. Go carry all her money. What sort of expensive joke is that? I mean, is she trying to scam us? Huh? Wait, oh. You mean say she did lie? I mean, how is it possible that the husband would beat her and take the money meant to treat her child? I mean, is the child not also important to the husband? Now she didn't hear me for for Say the man only beat her to death. Eh? Bro. I'm not sure so she will feel like with that kind of thing. So what exactly does she want us to do now? I won't try. Make I call Mervyn. Whether I go arrange another money give him. You see? This was exactly the reason I insisted that we shed that money that day and everybody would have collected theirs. What's all this now? He's so bad. I don't know you like this, so. You know get you not finished for person again. This is now our friend and our, and our daughter they die for hospital slowly. What have I said wrong? I am speaking the truth, my dear. We all worked hard for this money. I mean, you have not even collected a dime. Same with me. Then somebody will just come out from nowhere after being given a huge amount of money. Would say my husband beat me up and collected the money. And you just want to do what? Give her another one? With our money? It's not that easy. You know what, Tine? Look at call me here. Oh, boy. What? Maybe for this switched off, fool. It's all right. If the phone is switched off, it's fine. Thank God that tomorrow is the first day. We'll pay him a visit. It shouldn't be if the phone is switched off, it's fine. The same are picking the hospital, they die. And so, am I to be blamed for that? Listen, his phone is switched off. There is nothing you and I can do. We'll have to wait till tomorrow. We'll go and meet him. Come on. You're here smoking your life out. Hi. Mess up. This is not big effort. This is not for 
effort. Hello, sister. Now, see anybody there else with you? No, no, I'm, I'm home alone. The police come back, come find me. No, they haven't. You know what you go do for me, eh? Tomorrow I they come town. I want me to go with me for Green Life Motel. Green Light. Green Life. Green, okay, 6 p.m. Okay, I will. Pull down Green Life Hotel. Yes, sir. My instinct they tell me say me could go see Sarah. We could go visit her. I honestly do not understand you sometimes. Have you suddenly forgotten that we are wanted by the police? I know. But this is our friend, they go through a lot, so she they go through a lot. Okay, if you insist, we'll go tomorrow. But it is very wrong. It is very, very wrong for three members of a wanted gang to converge in her house. What if the police is watching over her home? And we get caught. You have a point. But what did I take my ear here? The last time Sarah called me, I could feel the pain in her voice. Our friend is so far. Away. It's okay. The most important thing is that we get the money. And that will be done tomorrow. It's okay. And her picking. Yeah, just permit that girl no go die. She's no picking to die. Don't be negative about all of this. You know, I'm just going to finalize the transfer documents to the lawyer, then I'll join you in the UK. Mm. Okay? Babe, I just hope it won't take too long. Not at all. I'm dotting the I's and crossing the T's. Moreover, you know I don't have to travel so fast, so they don't get to suspect me. Babe, no one is ever going to suspect you. Right. Listen to me, it was a well orchestrated job. Okay. <laughs> you can say that again. I know. <laughs> oh my God. And that plan has been fought. Um, how did you get in here? Mrs. Sandra Benson, you are under arrest for the murder of Senator Benson. <laughs> hey, officer. I don't know what is going on. I only came here to console her on the death of her husband. I'll be on my way. Get down! Get down! Get down! Mr. Consola, you are an accomplice. You are under arrest for the robbery that took place at the political event. You are advised to remain silent. Whatever thing you say will be used as an evidence in the court of law. I don't know what you're talking about. Quiet! You also have a right to a lawyer. Now move it. Move it! Get me the handbag of stuff. Move! Officer, get the handbag. I felt it! I felt it! And I kept talking about it! You don't even listen to me! 
beg you, try to calm down. When I tell you to calm down, I beg. I don't feel calm down. Which guy talk that one? Ah, uh -uh. is one all about this guy supposed to come here? Where is Melvin? Where the money day? See, eh? I don't believe say Melvin go get my Ben Johnson leave us. I don't believe him. Enough to do that kind of thing. Ah. Uh -uh. She's over. You did like say this matter no concern you. Are you not worried? I honestly do not want to get angry. Wait, oh. Why is Sarah never come here? Uh, Sarah come here for phone. That girl just they cry, they cry. I know they would hear what she they talk. Oh goodness, are we still discussing this? Honestly? That girl is going through a lot, so. Eh, me, I am going through, if I, I come from a whole lot. A whole lot! Well, the thing is, before we left the village, there was a message she dropped. And in that message, her address is in there. Maybe we should go see things for ourselves. Go here. What if maybe you come here and not see any of us? You know your problem is saying you just don't get common sense. Don't that fire your papa, bro, because you'll be fool. I don't have to fire your generation. What you have to say, you still believe that maybe you will come back here because they find us. Man, what don't that? What don't move? Ah uh ah! -uh. I don't know why you know they use your sense sometimes. Can we not find you before? Can we go already? You know what will happen? Becky go pin for this place. Me and she's about to go see her house, go check what they happen. Me go pin the administration what be? As men of us. I said you go pin here! Yes, My time pin this place and wait for you me. Go, if not, they go, where they go? Sorry, we tried our best. <laughs> this is not the end of the world. Mrs. Sarah, please. This way, this is not the end of the world. Oh God! <laughs> Girls, I had to end it. I lost the only reason that made me take part in robbery. There is no, there is no use leaving. There is nothing for me in this world. I have lost it all. To the next reunion in the world beyond. No. No. Let's leave here. The police might come for us. Just in, Miss Sandra Benson has been arrested by the police in connection to the death of her husband, alongside her lover boy, 
whom she reconnected with at her school reunion. Details of this story are yet to be unraveled, but we are live at the police headquarters to give you all the updates as things unfold. My name is Augustina Ede, Sun City TV correspondent. Mokomoye. This guy go snitch on us. More move. More they go. She's a Mokomoye. Police go. It was at the high school reunion that the old flings between Sandra and I rekindled. After we hadn't communicated for so many years. Already she was married to Senator Benton. But she opened up to me that the only reason she was married to him was because of his wealth. So when Becky and Rookie suggested that we rob the late senator, I spoke to her about it. And to my greatest surprise, I want my husband dead. I don't understand. You just told me they suggested you arch up a plan to rob my husband, right? Uh huh. Yes. Go ahead and rob him, but in the process, I want my husband dead. Sandra. He's so. He's. He's your husband. Why do you want him dead? I don't care. I don't care, Melvin. See, I am tired. I got into this marriage because of money. And now I am tired. You think I'm happy spending my life with that old man? No, I want to move on. Kill him! Go ahead, please. Sarah, that's not possible. The girls and I already agreed that in the course of this robbery, no lives were lost. <sighs> okay. Go ahead with the robbery. You guys can go ahead. Um, leave me to handle it. I will handle it. Is that okay? When she said she would handle it, I honestly did not think she would murder him. So, how do I get the remaining members of your gang? Why did you kill him? I need to see my lawyer. I know my rights. Your lawyer is on his way to this place. But I advise you to be mindful of what you say. Because your friend Melvin has already confessed. Yes, I did it. 
Good morning, Your Excellency. Good morning. How are you? Fine, thank you. I hope all of you are ready. Yes, ma'am. I want you to be focused and at alert, okay? You know, today is going to be a very great day, right? Okay, Um, today we're going to make an intro because my husband would definitely go to win the election, right? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay, so, um, let's see how we go. But please be careful that nothing at all happens to my husband. I, I assure uh, you he's safe tonight. He's okay. That was how it happened. I don't know what came over me. I'm sorry. Please, sir, what can be done? Save me. I'm ready to pay anything. Anything. What do you want? When you were blabbing, you didn't know that this day will come. What is my fate, sir? I think she's coming this direction. Yes, sir. I'm already here. Show. I'm standing in front of it. Step down and position yourselves. Under arrest. Koffer.
Please! The money to pay for it, I have to pay. Just make your order. Sergeant Kazim Zazu. What if tomorrow never comes? <laughs> Look at this one. Look at this bloody civilian. Telling me what if tomorrow never comes when I have tomorrow in my palms. I have the money. I already bought tomorrow. Come here and sit down. Oh. Wait, wait. Order for whatsoever you want. Beef, meat, chicken, fish, drinks. Just do it. I have Payback time. was later arrested. That comes to the end of this great reunion story. I feel like there is nothing to catch up on. We came, we saw, we picked up guns and fell off. Make no mistake, I do not regret attending my class reunion. I only regret that I won't be attending the next one. Today, my case is slated for hearing. And in the case of mother, my punishment is life imprisonment. Sees 